Wow, Abby Wambach. Uh, I think I could talk for hours about her, um, about the way she's influenced my life um, as a person, as a player. She really makes everyone feel special that uh, plays alongside her. The most exciting moment um, as a fan of soccer, as a coach of soccer, was the goal you scored in uh, 2011. Probably one of the most exciting moments in soccer. It captured a nation um, and certainly captured you, know, you and your spirit. The fabric that runs through you, Abby, is unique and remarkable. I think that one of the, the coolest things is your first practice, you look up and you're like, wow, I'm like, here I am with Abby Wambach, you know? It's, I think that's like the milestone you make when you, when you see her in your same jersey standing next to you. I think that's like a milestone in itself. When we won the Olympics, we actually stepped on the podium and we turned to each other after we got our gold medals and she kind of just patted my head in a way and was just like, we did it, we did it together. And it was kind of just this like big sister, little sister moment. And I think she kind of understood her role in helping me so much. And that moment with her turning to me and patting me on the head over anything in the Olympics, I think that's the one moment I remember because we did it together. I'll be looking back and it won't just be the times on the field that I remember. It's going to be everything that I've learned from you off the field that made me a better person, that opened my mind and allowed me to enjoy life more. So Abby, thank you. Abby, I'm gonna miss you. When I think of Abby on the pitch, I think of Clutch. Like, I just, that's it, that she's just so amazing. I can't even believe what we've been through. I love you so much, and I'm so excited for this next part of your life. I know you're totally gonna whoop ass like you did in the first part of your life. I love you. I think we should also talk about Abby's dancing. And the best is like, I'm sorry. people dance and it looks good, and the best, like literally it's the best when Abby does it. Like when Abby goes up, I'm like, <laughs> all my attention goes to Abby. I'm like, get it Abby, get it Abby. It's like Abby kind of has to break your legs down. Oh like, yeah, she's yeah, like, break so your weird. legs. Break your legs, lower, like, go lower. break your legs. There it is. There break your legs. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> okay, yeah. You're a legend in my eyes. You're a hero. You're an American hero. And uh, it's not easy to see you walk away. But you have so much more to give than just what you've given to me. I love you, Abby. And I'm going to miss you. She's over here crying. Cut. through and through. You've put your body on the line. You've scored some amazing goals. You've put the team on your shoulders. But the stuff that we're really going to miss and, and I'm going to miss um, is, you know, what, what you do off the field. Those are some special moments and special times that I will cherish, um, that I, I will always remember you for. In the 2012 Olympics, when I scored my first goal, I got the ball down the left side and I felt my defender fall and it was just me and the goalkeeper and I was looking for Abby and she pointed, go, 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 and I shot it and I scored <laughs> and um, she said that she only did that because she believed in me. She believed in people when they didn't believe in themselves. <laughs> That's what she does. Showing us how to score a goal, showing us how to be clutch in the, the biggest moments of a career is amazing. But I also think that what she's done off the field, pushing the game, speaking up for women, for gender discrimination, for the issues that we have to deal with behind the scenes, um, no one else has done as much as she has. She works endlessly to make our program better, to make our team better, and I think that is her greatest legacy. Obviously, without you, none of us would be where we are. And I am 
going to miss that leadership and looking to you on the field and, and off the field if I have any issues, just coming to you for your guidance and support. And I'm going to blow up your phone if I ever if I ever need your advice and guidance for sure. I'm ever since I'll be ready for that. 90 will never be quite the same without you. 90 will never be the same without you. 90 will never be the same without you, Abby. 90 will never be the same. I just want to tell you 90 minutes will never quite be the same without you, okay? I love you.